Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to the seventh video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles tutorial series. This video is going to cover Mushroom Hill, so let's get started. Uh, first thing is, you come into this stage, like in Carnival Night, you come into this stage uh, with tails carrying you. So jump off straight away, jump out to the left, facing right, do a spin dash straight away. And then this little Knuckles cutscene happens. As soon as you get control back, uh, the screen will start shifting up. As soon as you see that, you then want to do a full spin dash into this wall. And as soon as you touch that wall, go back to the left and you'll land on this switch. Now, as soon as you hit it, move back out to the right and you want to be pushing against it and then do as light a jump as possible. Now, uh, in this you're going to see me pause three times. So at the moment I'm holding left while I push up against this. Okay, the first pause is as Sonic comes into line with this little black mushroom in the background. Once he comes into line with that, pause, let go, so that you're holding nothing. Now, you should see the second pause there as you pass oh, pretty much under the right half of the, of the door here. Once you're there, um, unpause again, switch to holding right. And then you can see where I was the third time. That that one's much shorter than the first two. And then once you pause there, switch back to left, and this is what should happen. So like should be half in the floor like this. And you'll see him go over here and then drop. Uh, so we're holding left all the way across to the right, and then uh, then you drop, and then we're holding right to go back to the left. Now. This next bit is very important because you can just hold right and go straight for the level right there, but there's a roughly 50-50 chance it doesn't work if you do it this way. This method, where you line it up as close as you can to the wall first, increases your chances of a successful level wrap to about 95%. It still can fail, uh, but this is where we're going to use the effect of spin dashing. So. Spin dashing while you're facing right, so if Sonic's about here in the wall, and he's facing right, and does a spin dash, it'll push him back 16 pixels this way, so to the next tile, so about here, and another spin dash will put him there, and so on and so forth. So you want to get as close as possible to the wall as you can, to the edge of the wall. Uh, and what I'm looking for is this thin little tree in the background. As soon as I see that, I know that I'm close enough, I do one more spin dash and then hold right immediately. And that's as close to the wall as you can get and that gives you the 95% chance of going through. So you can consider yourself very unlucky if that doesn't work. Uh, you don't have to do anything here, at the moment we're just pressing nothing and we're waiting for the boss. Okay, now, as soon as the boss room appears, line yourself up with this tree. It's not strictly necessary, but it'll mean that there's no chance of you hitting the flames. So, I'm going to move out to here. You can see, jump one, two, three times. So you can get three hits with Into the Shields there. And now we go Into the Shields again, four, five, six. Uh, now, we want the Lightning Shield from this map. And the Lightning Shield is right here, underneath this tree. Uh, now, this is actually the hardest one to hit in the game because of what happens when you get close to the edge. So you won't, s uh, oh actually you will see it bouncing in a second, yeah there we go. So it starts bouncing away as soon as this left edge of the sign hits the left edge of the screen. So really you're aiming for about this much and not the whole, not the whole base of the tree. But the idea is that if the point of the signpost lands on this, then the lightning shield will pop up. And that's going to save us a couple of seconds in Act 2. So there we go, we've hit it. And you can see just how small a margin of error you have there. So that's Act 1 completed. Um, as I said, that lightning shield is going to save us a little bit of time in Act 2. Uh, first thing that happens when we go into Act 2 is that Knuckles is going to use the... Um, the wind to shoot us upwards. Um, we're not going to try and jump out of this like we would with tails. You can just see here that 
There is a slight tap of left, but otherwise you're holding right as you fall here, and you want to land about there, as close to the edge as you can, while making sure that you can still get a jump up to there. What we're trying to do is hit that yellow spring, then from here, we're going to jump up to the mushroom here, and then jump again before it bounces you. So this is a little bit tricky, but okay. If you do it, uh, you've only got a few frames there before you can actually, before you get bounced up. So we're going to jump off that, jump and lightning shield out to the left, and you can see this is the red spring we want, and that puts us up the top here. Um, in this loop, we're going to jump from about there down to here, and then the second jump will advance for a little bit. You want it to be fairly low, and you get this kind of jump angle here. The idea is to land straight on the platform that's coming up here, and that lets you keep most of your speed through here. Uh, jump over that bridge there, because if you don't, it will stop you, because it doesn't unfold quick enough. Um, as you get to here, you want to jump from about here. Uh, any later than that, and you'll get sent down into this path, which is no good. So we want to jump from about there, and as soon as you see the platform at the bottom here, you want to jump so that you clear that ramp. And then we're going to go through this ramp. This one's a little bit different. Uh, we want to do our jump roughly as you come into line with the pylon in the background, uh, in the foreground rather. Um, and that will let you bounce straight on that spring. And again there, there was a little tap of left. Here we actually want to catch the top of this uh, ramp here, and that will put us over that caterpillar enemy. Uh, Well-timed lightning shield there will keep you going forward. Um, here, anywhere you see this kind of setup, you want to jump from about there straight down into here. It cuts a little bit of the corner and it also gives you more speed. Uh, this section is quite nice. So roll down the hill um, and then in these two, these next two loops, you want to jump. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's off that slope. There's another one after the next ramp. Um, so that's, that switches you from rolling to running, and it also gets you more speed. Um, again, out of the corner of this ramp, you want to do a nice big jump, pretty much right up to where the ceiling is here. That's about where you want to let it go. If you hold it for that long, and then let it go, and lightning shield as you lose a bit of height, you'll land on this pulley here. Now, from here, uh, what you do when you're on these, you hold down until it goes all the way down and then release. So, watch. So, hold down until it comes all the way down to there and then release. And you need to do 12 of those. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Assuming that all of them went up two cogs in the... Um, in the middle thing and not just one. Uh, from here you should be able to now do a lightning shield jump up to that spring. It doesn't look like you'll make it, but you do. Um, this is a bit tricky now. It's very important that you grab the fire shield here. Um, now you can, it would be a little bit slower, but you could just run up to here, jump from this side and grab the lightning shield and then the fire shield which would give you fire and then wait for the fire shield to activate before doing a dash out that way it is however slightly faster if you can hit it from the top like that but it is very difficult because the window at the top is very small most of the time you'll actually hit this platform here so if you don't feel comfortable with it just jump low and get both of those shields there, but make sure the fire shield's second.
Either way, you come out of here with the fire shield. Um, and then we're going to run along here until we go past this last mushroom. So from about here, you want to jump. Uh, and that'll send you crashing into the radar like that. Um, now, you have to be very careful here that you don't fire shield too early. Because if you bounce away, you're going to lose a lot of time later on. So you want to wait until you see yourself bounce away and then fire shield. And what that's going to do is you're going to now bounce, you're going to now move all the way to the right and bounce on him. And you should get six hits before he moves away. Now spin dash, jump off that into the arena. There's only two hits left. As soon as the whole ground here is flat, so as soon as the last of that ramp disappears off the screen, you can do a full jump. And that'll get you hit seven like this. And then just as he becomes vulnerable again, do a fire shield, get your last hit. And that is how you speedrun Mushroom Hill. So I'm just going to go back and show you that without any interruptions.